Well, this is the mess I have got to clean up. Everyone's left me for a few days, which is exciting because I get my brain back for a bit without being having to do any taxi servicing or anything. But down here is where the kids have just vamoosed out of the bus in excitement and left all this for me to sort out. And the kitchen, which I'm sorting out at the moment, and the food that hubby cooked and burnt last night for the dogs to have today. Uh, it was supposed to be our stew last night, but yeah, this is going to look awesome when I'm finished. I don't think I've even gone up the front. The front's embarrassing. I hate the front part of my bus because it's always messy. It's got the aircon, which we can't even use at the moment. It's got the bird cage, which we got the blanket for to cover. It's got all my stuff up by itself. And it's got Mr. 10 and Miss 14's clothing, which she, for some reason, is not leaving in her basket. Yeah, this is the mess I'm going to be cleaning up. Enjoy that and stay tuned for the nice, clean, tidy bus. Let's not forget to mention the sock barker's basket was overflowing with odd socks. It seems to happen in every single family all around the world. Where they go, no one will ever know. But I am going through these slowly. Half of these will go into the garbage bin. I just know it. So I'm done folding socks. I hate folding pairs. This is a life of in the bus or in a house. It doesn't matter. The sock issue is the same. I've ended up with three that I'm going to keep because I know they're going to be somewhere easy to find. Well, not easy to find. They'll be found. These are good quality ones that I'm not going to get rid of yet, especially Santa Cruz. This is my basket of found matching socks. Some are not matching. They're the same style, same pattern, different colours. My kids don't care. Well, two don't. And this is the pile I'm chucking because ugh, I can't even... And I, even though I'm a recycler, a big time recycler, I just, socks, I need them out of my head, out of my space so I can focus on other things. So yeah, goodbye socks. Goodbye socks. If you know a way to get do something with socks, let me know. I'm not in the mood for making toys and stuff like that. So goodbye socks. Today's the day you get to see my bus because it's tidy. Here's the two dogs. <laughs> it's Kovu, it's my daughter's dog. And Gypsy, Gypsy, say hello. Kobe, hello. There is also a cat, but the cat's hiding. He goes under the bus every day. As soon as he gets outside, he goes hides under the bus and comes in when he wants to. And this is, um, I think I call him Buddy, but they call him Hagrid, <laughs> so I'm not sure. He belongs to Mr. Twelve. So yes, he's got to clean the cage out when he gets home. Um, this is the beginning of our bus. Okay, this is what my kids do not, we do not fold. We have no room to fold. My kids do not, I have not folded for years because as soon as I fold, they pull it all out. So, um, Captain sits there. We have the aircon here because in some of the kids' area here, it gets very hot. So, there's a few things I'd like to say. If you're going to be building a bus, one, make sure you've got aircon through the whole bus. Make sure your bus is fully lined. Okay, that's the two things I recommend for everybody. You will find as you... If you get a bus, um, my opinion is make sure you put down everything you want in it if you're going to do up your own bus, but then go and ask everyone what they've done, especially someone who's had three buses because what I've found is most people who've got one bus, they usually go to the third bus. Anyway, before I go into that, this is the kids sleeping. Oh, there's, there's Des. That belongs to Mr. 16. Um so yeah, this is the kids' area. There were curtains on both these, but the pole fell down. She's got to get a new cur curtain rod. And this is the two boys. One's taking his blanket with him. Yes, they're away. They're away for three nights and three days. Do I sound excited? I've actually cleaned the bus. Now, you want to see in a minute? No, before. <laughs> I did this. You may have seen it. I don't know if I'm going to share it. It's so embarrassing. But I've actually tidied up the bus, and this is how it will stay while they're away. So that's really good. Now, as a reseller... I have boxes everywhere and these are going to be sitting under the under the table with the other boxes. Um, these are the books I'm selling that I picked up really cheap. Mr. 16 sits here and plays his games. So it's only when he's not here that I get to sit here. All the curtains and all the cushions I actually had to do. There was cream coloured cush uh, pillow. Cream coloured everything in here and I changed it to more my style which is the bright colours. Some of the curtains do need a wash. Okay, let's go back to my kitchen. Now, we've got a thermi, which I'm really slacking using, so I don't cook. So my husband cooks every night, so 
Tell me he doesn't get used, he doesn't know how to use it yet, so he will learn. There's our water machine, which has saved some foul tasting water over the time. And cause sometimes you go to it, it's really revolting. But he doesn't think the kitchen's big enough. I think it's ample. But he thinks it's too small. But he knows he's the cook. Um, and a little convention oven does microwave and normal cooking. And our gas stove we use when we are not on power. So, yeah, that's that. That area, yeah, I've got to give it a clean. Okay. This is our bathroom. Now, we've got a sink and a mirror and a shower, which is all stainless steel. One thing to do, if you have a going to be doing your own bus, please make sure you get an event in the shower. Our doors don't. Like, our doors have got gaps on the top and bottom, but you need to have an event. Like, the guy who made this bus, I don't think, was thinking about a lot of different things. Um, when he made the bus, he didn't put any windows, open windows. The only open window we had in the bus in the beginning was the one where the captain sits. We've had to put all these windows in, both sides opening windows to let some air through. The kids' area don't have windows, and that's one thing we wish we had. Okay, this is my pantry. And I'm going to show you this. This is I leave that rubber flooring there because that's where I do my exercise. I get in here. I should be doing yoga. I did it for a while. I've got to get back into it. I'm not very good at it. I'm just learning on YouTube. But... Um, yeah, this reminds me I've got to get into my planking. I'm up to two, two minutes, two minutes ten at the moment. So I've been doing it for a few weeks and I'm just building up, building up. And I also do some other exercise every day. So I do that twice a day. Um, this is our loo, which I didn't shut. Ouch, I'm not going to show you my loo. Anywho, he's got all the kids' stuff there, hopefully. It's interesting because they'll actually ask me a question of all this sort of stuff. Not so much the math, but they do ask me questions about that. Um, yeah. So I'd say they, they can sit and learn. Well, they, could, they could do something else and learn too. <laughs> so they sit and learn. Um, I have all their homeschooling stuff packed up here. I made this little thing as well for their books, but it's a bit of a mess at the moment. Yeah, so in these cupboards, so I'm going probably a bit too fast for you, in these cupboards, and I'm going to show you. Now this is going to probably go on two channels. It's going to go on my, my um, Flipping Boomer channel. And it's also going to go on the Aussie Boomer channel. So it's going to be a bit of a mix. So everything in here is all our clothes, right? And this is all our dressy clothes, which we very rarely wear. And bits and pieces that I'm selling and our file of all our important documents and stuff like that. And it's actually not too bad at the moment. It has been worse. But this is where I've stored heaps of stuff that I'm selling. <laughs> and it's also got some of my craft stuff in here too. So I haven't had a chance to craft. I'm just not in that. I'm in a different frame at the moment, so I'll get back to that eventually. This gear here is everything I've got to go outside and take photos of very shortly. And this is our room. Okay, it's 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 messy, tidy because this is, I've just organised everything. This is the stuff I've got to share on my YouTube channel. Um, I have all, some of my oils here. I'm a bit of an oily, and I have my favourite oils. And I've just pinched some of my husband's space in my craft bag. <laughs> So I was crocheting crazy last year. These are my, most of these are from the wooden panel to the wooden panel <laughs> are all my books that I may or may never get to read. In that cupboard there is stuff that belongs to stuff that I can find at op shops I want to keep. And in that cupboard is my clothing and plus stuff that I've got for sale. And that's his, that's his side over there. So I've got more stuff because I'm more of a hoarder. He's just doesn't, he's not into everything I'm in. So I've got hooks everywhere. And this is our dressing table, my dressing, my dressing table, I should say. My mirror and all my junk and all my stuff that I've got to resell down there. These are things I've got to list shortly. So that's why I've got it semi-organized. So we're going to go back up here. So that's what, my bus looks so cool. I don't know if I've shared what I did this morning, I probably will. Well, anyway, I might be do it before, I might do it after, but it was a mess this morning. So this is how it's going to look for me for a little bit, so for a few days. Now, as I was going to say, make sure you go back. If you're going to build your own bus, put down everything you want, but go and ask people that have got their third buses. If I had, my, We have already designed our next bus if we ever had a chance to have another bus. There'd be a lot of things that were different about it. One, one of the most important is air conditioning throughout and fully lined. So... Um, there were other things I was going to tell you. Hi, Des. But, yeah, that's the main thing. So I'll probably think of other things to tell you later on, but and I might put it on here or in the comments. I don't know. But there was lots of things that having a bus um, definitely change it. 
I'd probably have my ceilings. Another thing I'd have is my ceilings raised. My my youngest son, thankfully, doesn't live with us because he's six foot, six foot seven, six foot eight. So he's actually got to bend his shoulders, his head down onto his shoulders to get down here. Like it's sort of yeah, you could get my meaning. So it's not easy. And my my granddaughter's boyfriend is tall too. He always hits his head. So um, yeah, that's one thing I'd have a sort of a raised roof. But yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I know a few have been waiting to see. Um, here's more stuff. I've got a list right here right there i've got to take that up the back um, at the front later and list all that and i'm going to show you where we are which some of you have probably already seen but that down there the boxes of stuff i've already listed or i'm about to list and yeah so and miss 14 went through 15 went through 14 went through her clothes last night but we're in a really nice spot at the moment i mean i just love that tree up there and i'm going to be taking photos soon um we're in a private area. I don't know if you noticed, we're in a quite a tilt, a bit of a tilt too. So it's a bit of a drunken sailor time, which I said on the other previous video on my other on my Aussie Boomer page. But um, they're doing work up in the Oval. That's where we were down there. They're doing no, sorry, not doing work. They're having a function in a week, so they said just come down here. That way we're not having don't have to move again. But yeah, we're in a little bit of a slant. It's not the worst slant we've been on, but it's probably the worst longest time slant we've been on anyway guys enjoy that hope you do see you soon